Oh boy! Ladies and freaking gentlemen, boys and girls, today we are surprising Braden Price with my new dirt bike. So I'm sure a handful of you are from Braden's channel. And as you guys all know, what we do over there is power sports. We ride four wheelers, side by side, and sometimes even dirt bikes. Now guys, Braden does actually have a dirt bike. He has a really nice one. I think it's a 2017 KTM. It's a 252 stroke. That thing is wicked. But the main reason he never rides it is because he doesn't have anybody to ride with. Well, now he does. This is my girl right here for the ones that don't know. It's a 2018 CRF 250R. If you guys haven't already seen the video of me buying the bike, make sure you go check it out. I'm super stoked today to get Braden's reaction because I think he's gonna love it. Not only the fact that I'm getting into dirt bike content, but we'll be able to make videos together. Well guys, we are cutting on time this morning, so I gotta go ahead and get this bag girl loaded up so we can head that way to Braden's house. I think Dylan's supposed to be here fairly soon. He's supposed to be riding with me. So I'm gonna go ahead, sit you guys up on the tripod, and let's get this thing loaded up. I almost forgot, I gotta get the ramp down first. The ramp? I didn't hit it straight on. That's my fault. Oh, 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 baby. We got the bike all loaded up. She's nice and strapped down. Tight, 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 tight. I don't think she's going anywhere. Now, if you guys didn't already see, I recently installed this hitch and motorcycle carrier onto my car. I have yet to haul this bike on this car, so I have no idea if it's going to make it. <gasps> we can't forget this. We got to have the motorcycle stand. Bop this girl in here. All right, guys. We are all loaded up and we're ready to go. The only person we're waiting on is Dylan. He should be pulling in any second now. Would you look who decided to show? Oh, uh, Dylan, dude, you're late. Hurry the fuck up. We gotta go. Let's hop in the car and let's roll, baby. We're pulling into McDonald's here because, you know, we got our coffee, we're spunked up, but we got to get Brayden spunked up because he's always a little e -er first thing in the morning, so <laughs> we got to get him going. So we're going to roll in here to the McDonald's, grab him his go-to, the sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit combo with a large Sprite, and we're going to go to the gas station right across the street and get him a Red Bull. He needs to be extra spunked. We need him on his A game today, baby. We're already running late. I figured the least we could do is grab him some breakfast. Hello? How can I get for you? Uh, yes, can I get a sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit combo? with a large Sprite, the biggest Sprite you guys have. Anything else? That's gonna do it. The name's Buddy Price. Morning, large Sprite. Is this the biggest one you guys have? Okay, sounds good, thanks. Have a nice day. Love you. All right, McDonald's is acquired. Now we gotta go get them the biggest Red Bull they have at the gas station. Red Bull acquired. All right, guys, we're leaving the gas station now. We got the McDonald's, we got the Red Bull. There's no reason not to be spunked. He better be juiced up this morning. Let me get him to shotgun this Red Bull. But yeah, guys, anyways, back to the montage. Ladies and gentlemen, we are pulling into Braden's house. Braden Price's house right now. Oh, I hope to God he doesn't see the bike. I hope he doesn't see the bike. All right, we just pulled in. I don't think he can see it from here. All right, we have officially made it to Braden's house. We're gonna try to sneak in here. I don't know if he's gonna be up or not. It is nine o'clock. We're like an hour late. I think we're fashionably late to say the least. All right, guys, we've made it into the office. I gotta be quiet because I think Braden's still sleeping. I don't wanna throw any red flags quite yet. Got his breakfast sitting right there. I'm gonna pick you guys up after he eats, drinks the Red Bull and he's ready to go. All right, guys, Brayden is eating his McDonald's and he's drank his Red Bull. I think he went to go take a shower because he went back in his room. I just got to make sure he doesn't go outside without me. Oh, shit, I think he's coming. So, look, there's a reason why we were late this morning. <laughs> I didn't just bring you McDonald's and a Red Bull because I love you. I mean, I do love you. Okay, but what's but going on with the camera? It's just, it's recording. So that's your camera? This is my camera, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous right now. I've had butterflies all morning, but I've gotta go ahead and break the news to you. Oh, <laughs> I swear. This is something that I've been wanting to get since high school, bro. Calm down, Miller. Like, I don't know why I'm so nervous right now. <laughs> well, I have a surprise for you. What kind of surprise? <laughs> 
<laughs> you, know, you know how you've been saying you've been looking for you know some more content and trying to freshen it up well i i you know i may have gotten a little something for you dylan not, what's I'm going through your head right now i'm not entertained <laughs> not entertained is it the Ford Ranger? I wish. <laughs> the Ford, the Ford fucking Ranger? It's too early for this. It's, it's not too early. early. It's yeah. never too early. I don't know why I'm so nervous. Are you ready? No shot. <laughs> no shot. <laughs> you gotta stop spending money. No shot. What do you think, dude? This is your buddy's box. No, I swear to God, this is mine. Chris Cade. Who's Chris Cade? I don't know. I don't know. It's just the graphics that came on it. it. What do you think, dude? That motor looks funky. Why does it, it look funky? The head of the motor comes off to me as like a Suzuki motor. Just, I don't know. So, but this. It's a 250? It's a 250R. It's a 2018. It's got 60. Three hours on it. You paid up the ass for this thing, didn't you? How much do you think I paid? It's a 250, 20 what? 2018. 2018, 250? Yeah. 7,800? 70, you think I have $7,800? That's what I'm saying. You're spending way too much money. <laughs> You've been blowing through some checks this week. <laughs> it's, uh, I got it for no shot. That's no. what I'd pay for it. That's not what I'd say it sold for, but that's what I'd pay for it. <laughs> Bro, whenever you're like, all right, I got to go outside and look at the pit bikes, I'm so scared. I had to break the news to you now because I was scared you were going to come out and see it. <laughs> Fuck yeah, baby. Yeah, no, I got this so me and you can go rip now. I know you never get to ride your 250 KTM. So I was like, look, dude, I've been wanting a bike since high school. I used to ride a lot. I know I got my boy to ride with me now. So you picked it up this morning? <laughs> no, that's not. No, he was actually, he actually slept in. But yeah, no, I've had this for about a week. <laughs> Dylan and I have actually been keeping this a secret from you for like a week, week and a half now. Not a chance. I swear. <laughs> and you bastards didn't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> dude, it was so. nice bike. I want to get it off so I can show you. And I want to see you rip it up the road one time. Oh, I'll rip the piss out of it. <laughs> okay, legit. All right, go get shoes on. I'll, I'll get it unloaded. Bro, that went a lot better than expected. <laughs> I don't know why, but I was so nervous. All right, let's just go ahead and get this thing unloaded. Get it off the ramp so uh, so Brayden could go rip it. Because I want to see his reaction on this thing. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Jenna, you thinking I got this thing for 7,800 bucks? Dude, I'm thinking it was a compliment. Well, bikes are out to ask because I was looking at getting one for us. And it was just, they were fucking expensive as hell. So what kind of deal you worked out? You like, use your knees or what? <laughs> I use my knees. Fresh oil change, fresh filter. Fork seals had le uh, had been leaking a little bit. So they went ahead and rebuilt the fork seals. Yeah. New chain and sprocket. I mean, it's a pretty stout bike, dude. Here's got electric start. <laughs> yeah, hell, hell yeah, yeah baby. <laughs> Warm up just for a little bit, and then uh, we're gonna let Brayden rip it around. All right, whatever you do, don't wreck it. Don't wreck don't it. Wreck it. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, I hope he doesn't wreck the bike. <laughs> He doesn't have a helmet on, so he's probably not gonna rip it too hard. What you think, Dill? He definitely looked to be smiling ear to ear, that's for sure. <laughs> Dude, he seems super stoked that I have a bike now. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit, here he comes. <laughs> Broken rip! Woo, he's gotta teach me how to do that. Bro, that's so fucking sick. I didn't know he could freaking hold a wheelie like that. Look at this dude! He's definitely having a great time. <laughs> Bro, he's having an absolute ball right now. <laughs> this makes me feel so much better. Butterflies have finally left my stomach. Dude, I don't know why I was so nervous surprising him, but I was. <laughs> Really? The fingers might be weak. I'm not used to pulling a clutch anymore. <laughs> Are you sure what these buttons are sounds? This is kill switch. This is your mapping, right? Yeah. Right now, it's just in the normal mode. There's yeah. a slow mode, what they call traction mode, and it basically uh -huh. slows it down for like, I guess, trail riding or whatnot. Yeah. And then there's uh, the hot mode, uh -huh. which I guess Put makes it. Hot mode. You want it in the hot mode? Here, start it up. Okay, so it's flashed one time. That's in regular mode. So we're going to hold it down just for a little bit. It's going to flash twice. That's slow mode. All right, flash three times. You're in hot mode. Hey, let's do it. Hey, I want to know what you think about the hot mode to the regular mode. Business calls, you know. <laughs> All right, dude, now keep in mind, it is a lot torture. I think it is. That man lives on the back tire. I'm excited to see what he thinks about the hot mode, if he can actually tell the difference. I feel like I can. I think it makes it a little bit more like torquey in the low end of it. Look at him go. Bro. 
Bro, that is insane. Wow. Bro's an absolute ripper. <laughs> Holy shit. I knew he could drive and I know he can ride a four wheeler. You know, I've only seen him ride super motors and I knew he can do a wheelie. Holy shit. He is fucking ripping that that's, thing. That's crazy. That's when you know he spent all of his life growing up doing that. Look, here he goes again. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Bro's an absolute animal. Holy shit. What the heck? That, <laughs> that is, is crazy. That is absolutely insane. <laughs> oh, dude, that bike fucking hauls ass, dude. Uh, I've yet to really, like, get on it. Maybe one weekend we can go out and I can actually give it a rip. Oh, we'll 100% get you on the bike. Bro, you just live on the back tire, don't you? This guy leaving that much. A lot more ump. Can, can you tell the difference? Oh, yeah. Easy peasy. That really? Surprised me. Uh, more, more business calls. Busy man. Busy man. Hey, I'm gonna take this over to the parents' house. Yeah, you're good. Gotta grab something. He's on the. <laughs> what did he fucking wheelie? <laughs> business calls mid wheelie. <laughs> There's literally no freaking way. Bro, he absolutely loves it. Oh yeah, I can tell. I can just tell he's all getting all hyped up because he's finally going to be able to get back on his bike and go ride with someone. That is one of the biggest reasons why I actually bought this bike is to get Braden back out on the trails, get him back on the KTM and go rip, baby. Because nobody else in our friend group actually has a dirt bike for him to go ride with. So I figured why not? I wanted to bring some new content to the table, not only for my channel, but for Braden's channel as well. Guys, I had no idea what kind of reaction I was going to get out of him, but it turned out awesome. Braden. What's up? Oh wait, never mind. What happened? He said it's broke. What? <laughs> and then he said, oh wait, never mind. And I guess it's fine now. Three seconds ago he was calling me saying it's broke. Two seconds later he's fucking wheeling it. Absolute Howdy. ripper, dude. What happened? I had to pull on the clutch to freaking you know make it run right. Oh uh, yeah. You yeah, know, I thought I broke it there for a second. <laughs> well, I hard. hope not. I was sitting here. <gasps> 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 Huh? <laughs> huh? Well, yeah, no, you got you got to pull the clutch in on these. Overall thoughts, dude, you're fucking ripping it. That's a good bike, dude. She's solid. I'm just super stoked that me and you are gonna be able to ride now. Gotta go out get the KTM fixed because I think the KTM has a stuck throttle, right? No, it's already rolled. No, it's not. Brand new tires, brand new tubes, fresh oil change, air filter. Bro, I rolled. swear it has a stuck throttle. Let's go look at it. No, I promise you, it has a stuck throttle. It doesn't. Yes, it does, Braden. I already know. Y'all went in there and duct taped the throttle. <laughs> no, no, why? 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 why, why you know it's worse. Why would I waste my time duct taping your throttle? You know it works. Not getting it out. No, 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 no. I know, I know. We're not gonna get it out. But I'm gonna just gonna tell you that the throttle's fucking stuck. What? Yeah, no, I get the duct tape off. <laughs> Dude, I just fixed this. Yeah, no, I zip tied it. I actually super glued it. I'm selling this fucking thing. No, you're not! <laughs> no, you're not! I literally bought a dirt bike so me and you could go ride. You can get this baby out. Dude, I literally just fixed that issue. KTM problems, am I right? Should have bought a Honda. Dude, what was the problem? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is actually Braden's bike right here. 2017 is a 252 stroke. Thanks an absolute monster. I've ripped it only like one time and it is way too much power for me. But talk about an absolute unit whenever the throttle actually works and it's not stuck. Shit like this, it makes Braden want to just sell it and buy something brand new. You could just get a Honda, dude, then we can match. I had it right and all I did was let it sit. <laughs> Didn't even touch it because it was ready to roll. How does the throttle just randomly get stuck like that? <laughs> now he feels obligated to fix it. <laughs> He's got to get it fixed now so we can go rip, baby. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, Christian. I'm just gonna sell it. No, you're not. It. No, you're not. How about you sell it and buy a new bike? Nah. What? <laughs> you're buying a bike or you're fixing this one. Nah. All right, then I'm selling mine. Whenever you turn the corner, what was your first thought? Oh, damn, that's a nice bike or well, why the damn. fuck is he hauling it with an Acura? Damn, he got me a new dirt bike. <laughs> We got back from a trip the other day. He like walks to his door and the first thing he says, he goes, why do you have a hitch on the back of your car? I just told him, I was like, oh, you know, I've, oh, I've had that there. I've had it since I bought it. Well guys, Braden's gonna go ahead and get another throttle cable on order so we can get this bike fixed and go rip. I'm actually mad. <laughs> Like, I spent two days on this thing. I'm like, I'm gonna get this thing fucking mint. New tires, new oil, new air filter, fix any issues, grease up the chain, clean everything with the fucking cotton swab, put it in the corner, and now it's fucking broke again. That's what, exactly what happened. Is that what happened? Should have bought a Honda. <laughs> well, guys, I hope you enjoyed Braden's reaction to the bike. Fuck you. <laughs> Turned out a lot better than expected, but we got some work to do, so I'm gonna pick you guys back up at the house.
Oh boy. We have made it back to the house. The bike made it. <laughs> Are you surprised, Dylan? Or did you know it was going to make it? Bro, I knew it was going to make it because I put that hitch on. Yeah, no, it definitely like sways a little bit, but it's fine. Bro, did Brayden draw a cock on, my, on the back of my windshield? Nice cock. Dylan, dude, what do you think of the reaction? You must have really put some pep in his step to really get his bike going again. He was already on the phone with people trying to figure out where to get his throttle cable. We were on the way to go film a video, and before we left, he was literally on the phone with people ordering another throttle cable. Because he's so pumped that I got a bike now and we can both rip, dude. He absolutely loves this thing. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get the bike back in the garage. Oh, boy. We got the bike back where she belongs in her little home here. I was thinking about maybe getting like a nice little Honda mat, maybe a little backdrop for it. Garage space is pretty tight, as you can tell. You can maybe make some room over there. I'm not sure. But for right now, this is where she's going to be. I don't think today's surprising brain could have gone any better. His reaction was priceless. You see what I did there? Uh -uh, not funny. But anyhow, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Today's video was definitely one for the books. It's only the beginning, guys. You're going to see Brayden and I ripping it up, whether it's on his channel or my channel. So if you guys are looking forward to that, make sure you go ahead, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you make sure you're the first one there when that video drops. Well, guys, I'm going to have to clean up this mess. I might just keep the hauler on here. I'm not sure. It's rather easy to take on and off, but I don't know. I might just keep it on there because I'm actually supposed to go riding this weekend, so make sure you stay tuned for that. The first ride on the CRF 250R, it's going to be insane. As you guys can tell from Braden ripping this thing, not only can Braden ride, but that bike's a ripper. I know for a fact Braden really enjoyed the bike and he's super pumped to come ride. So, guys, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and close off today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. And if you guys would, like and subscribe, and I will catch you on on the next one. Yeah, yeah. Hey!